Hi guys, Akomodo Crypto here with another Bitcoin update. Finally, huh? If you have been following me on my Twitter and my Discord group, you you may have noticed that I am pretty active there. So I I decided to be uh, updating you guys more on those uh, using those vehicles. Uh, instead of videos so frequently because I think it's easier for me and easier for you guys to follow so we are now 360 60 days yeah and what happened now guys what's happening now right uh, a lot of people in my group are oh my god a little bit desperate and saying, oh my goodness, what is happening? We are, uh, what is happening? This is wave four, this is a trend reversal. Guys, this is a wave four, definitely. And I released yesterday in my my Twitter a wrong count, okay? I need to tell you guys that because, uh, again, my, my Twitter is not gonna open this those shards. Fine, let me see if I can show you guys hey here we are guys <laughs> uh, but I'm, I'm gonna show the the chart is it's way better right so i was counting this structure here uh, actually this i was counting my a wave shorter than it might actually be so this is a this is gonna be b and then we have a c that potentially can go and kind of uh, go to the one wave region the the white degree here one wave and it won't be wrong because this would be a ending diagonal okay it's fine so a would finish here other short region where i am considering this is uh, waves uh, remember guys waves of a higher degree tends to retrace to region of the wave 4 of a lower degree so this wave 4 here is of a lower degree than this wave 4 here this y degree so uh, accordingly to the to the Elliott wave principle the higher degree wave 4 retraces to the region of wave 4 of a lower degree so here we are we are retracing to this region so no panic it's not a bullish momentum. I thought for a second that we might. I I, I was bewildered. I need to come to to give in this thing. I was oh my goodness. This uh, why is such a pump? But th but then I I saw that I realized because I was looking at the Bit Phoenix in my chart on Bit Phoenix was uh, 20, 23 minutes, and I was like looking at this A B C D E and i was not really sure I, I was not looking at the right place for our wave four which would be here okay it would be this region here this red region here i'm gonna put it a bit higher because that's what it is okay so i, I wasn't looking at the right place so uh, let me show sorry for the clutter uh, this is my personal this is for my personal use and uh uh, yes, here is bit stamp. So, until we get to to three nine hundred, thirty nine hundred, thirty eight hundred, and break above it, I, I wouldn't call it any sort of bullish breakout or I don't know bullish run. I'm gonna keep with this count here because this is an ABC. This is a corrective pattern. So we might see one, two, three, four, five. It's gonna finish here we might see a, a fifth wave that's shorter i don't know we don't know what i know for sure is that wave three is slowing down because of course here at the rsi we see that we got to pretty high level to, to pretty uh high level high levels right it's uh it's above this last peak here you compare you you put a line here yeah, definitely almost the same level because this is a rather thick line. So no problem, but we, we, we definitely gonna it's go, it's gonna pull back a bit, a, a little bit. So uh, 
this is actually on a Phoenix, and I, I, I'm seeing that we might have one, one leg up, one more leg up until we finish the wave three. Then we are gonna have a wave five here. And again, wave four of the highest degree is gonna be traced to the region of this wave four of a lower degree. Again, guys, this is Elliott wave principle. If you don't like it, doesn't, it's not a problem, doesn't matter. You just can uh, trade using trend lines and things like that. I, I saw this this pump coming, uh, but I couldn't believe, I thought that this would be a, a <laughs> I draw those, line, those, those lines here, those, this falling, falling edge here, and I saw it and I, and I said, I'm not gonna enter along here because this is my, my style. I won't trade against the trend and the trend is down so i'm not gonna enter along okay so then i saw this thing going up and i said okay i'm gonna start shorting but my short was here so and i and i i gave you guys this the the short position in my discord group so i'm sorry for this this was uh, totally wrong if we are gonna have a a wave here it's gonna be here here and then a b wave here perhaps testing the support here and then a C wave going perhaps breaking the level of uh, of this A here but it's not a guarantee that we're gonna get to 100 minus 100% here and this is the resistance it's now a support yes it was a, uh, I'm, I'm using this because this was the breakout line for this triangle here okay support now okay we might test this thing as a support for our wave five for our wave b sorry guys this would be a higher degree than this thing here so anyway okay so it's not invalid it's nothing like this if you see here this is the daily chart beat stamp if we take if, if we take our retracement from this point here to this point here look where is the 30 38 20 percent guys come on it's 4100 okay this is not precise and i would need to zoom in and see exactly where is the wave one but nevertheless it's we have plenty of room to go plenty of room to go up now okay so this is not a problem at all this is not uh, ending. This is not the end of the the correction. This is actually a correction of this trend here, of this line here, this trend line here going down. I believe that we finished wave three, and now we are going up to put in wave four. Then we would have a, a, the last wave here, fifth wave. Perhaps we don't know. We. We are as traders, we are trying to figure out what's going on together. We might see something, the market might show us that we are wrong and then we need to adapt. We need to cut our losses and go to go the opposite way. It's simple. Okay, I'm not here to provide you guys, uh, to, pro to provide you guys uh, certainties, but probabilities, remember that. <laughs> not <laughs> and even that is too much to say even probabilities it's it is not that much so here it's been phoenix we have a one two we, we have got this line here if, if we label this is a one two that would be the third let me clear this thing a bit and clear this one this is a one Two, and there we are right right at the golden pocket for a wave three we might as well end it here it's not impossible but the micro counting this is 23 minutes uh, I, this is two one two clear one two so we were one two one two and then we have this three again using our extension tool oh my goodness this was by the book right by the book wave uh waves we do within waves so almost getting to the 261 80 percent 
So it's not that bad, right? For a wave three, what would you say? So now I think that we are either gonna go up once more to finish this wave three of the lowest degree, or we are gonna retrace, right? Retrace to this place here. You're getting there. 50% perhaps, we don't know. According to the alternation rule, let me see where the wave two of this degree retraced. One, two, we retraced to the 38, 20%. It's a shy, shallow retracement. So I wouldn't be surprised to see a wave four here retracing to this region here of the 50%. Okay, this is roughly 3473 on Beat Phoenix, guys. Beat Phoenix. If and only if this micro counting here, this lowest degree, retraces that much, which is not, which is not uh, impossible, but it's not, uh, it's not a guarantee. Okay, or we might just see another leg going up in a really shy retracement here for wave four. And then we are going to finish this wave three. Then we are going to retrace for this wave four. Then we are going to finish this wave A here with the fifth wave, the last wave going up. Then we are going to see a wave B. If we are talking about, this is all hypothetical, those levels, because we don't have the price here, but... Let's see if we, we, we get from the bottom here where our wave A would, would begin. Then we are, I'm getting this minus 618 here as a, as a baseline, but I'm going to get a little bit higher just to see where the wave, the wave B might land, might retrace. So we might retrace to the 61865, 50%. This would be... 3500 3, or if we have a B wave that goes a little bit deeper and find this support here oops sorry and find this support here we might test again the 3400 okay for a B wave and that's it we are gonna see something like this if I am right because I'm not 100% sure I'm giving you guys one count and one possible possibility sorry one probability because this is what the, the market is showing and i am applying the elliott wave principle okay and uh this is the same here guys okay same thing here this is bit stamp that was bit bit phoenix uh, and this is bit stamp if we finish here this is where i'm gonna see, we are gonna see b wave okay 3300 3500 yes around this region here if of course we get to those levels here if we get to this short region resistance place where i market here i'm gonna short definitely because i'm only shorting the market i don't enter along now this is my strategy okay i'm gonna be short in the market here okay and it's a nice profit and this is wave C here. Then it's only then that we are gonna see if we have a ending diagonal because we might get to this uh, wave one territory here, but we don't know yet, okay? I'm sorry guys, but I was totally wrong with my, my, sh my count here. I didn't take into account the extension, the, 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 the size of the wave, right? You need to take into account the size of the wave to, to measure the ABC. The, the ABC wave that I was measuring was way too small in comparison to this long and rather, not rather, but really long wave here that we are, that we are now, we are, that we are in now. So, uh, it's, de it's definitely retracing, but if we get to this 50% here, this 50% here is of the longest wave. Let me take this out. Um, this is what I'm thinking about, right? We have this 38% here, 
we might get there this is the micro counting this is bit phoenix again okay this might be 3400 perhaps 3500 i don't know and then we're gonna see another leg up but i'm not and again i'm saying i'm not entering along i don't have reasons to enter along okay instead uh i'm short in the market okay even though we have let me show you guys we have hit we have hit the 200 standard moving average here okay i have called your guys attention on my twitter and we are really low on the RSI, so definitely a bounce is in order and we are reacting this was expected another good analysts have said so that upon touching the 200 standard moving average we see the markets here reacting yes we haven't closed the the weekly chart below the 200 moving average we closed above so this is a bullish sign so who knows if we are going to see some kind of different thing uh, my my stop loss is here for a short okay guys let me show you guys it's here this is my stop loss if it goes to 4k it's gonna be uh it's gonna invalidate the discount so if we test this resistance here this is my stop loss for a long for a short i'm sorry not long for short for shorts it's funny for shorts okay this is my stop loss this bluish line here this is resistance here because we would get and of course with the volume if we breach through this wave one territory it's it invalidates my count and then we would need to rethink this whole thing okay but for the moment we haven't even touched the the 3820 which is here guys oh here is the 50 percent and 38 20 percent okay of the if we are to, to think about a fourth wave but this would invalidate my my count here it's quite it's, it's quite it's quite telling this because it might hmm this might indicate that we are not yet putting th this might indicate that this third wave here is not finished and i will need to recount this structure here perhaps the third wave is here and we are now actually finishing this wave yellow wave degree here and the fourth wave here is not in not yet Hmm. then we would have this third wave this fourth wave here i don't know actually i need to to uh, readjust it but this is a uh, uh, this, this has this didn't happen this oh i'm good oh my goodness i need to update it <laughs> see i was counting it oh there it is there it is i'm not that stupid <laughs> there it is okay so <clears throat> but again this would be 38 20 percent here exactly what i'm saying the stop loss is so i'm put my stop loss 40 4200 a bit higher than the 38 20 percent for a wave four but this would invalidate this wave one here because we would invade the a wave one territory but if it's a week just a bunch of weeks touching the 38 20 percent is not gonna be wrong it's not gonna be uh it's not gonna invalidate the ending diagonal if we have an ending diagonal okay this is the 38 20 percent 50 percent of the whole wave guys this wave here one two three this is exactly where i am pointing here at the daily chart okay it's 4k if we get if we get to the 3820 it's gonna be 4k okay but we are retracing we are about to get to my, to my fourth wave here where i marked the fourth wave which is nice isn't it then we are gonna have one more leg up for finishing this third wave 
Okay, I'm gonna be shorting here. This is on Phoenix. I'm gonna be shorting here. Starting at the 3700. 3700. Here it is. No, I'm gonna be starting at the 3764. Something like that. That depends on the movement. I'm gonna be watching the market today. So if you haven't joining us in our Discord group, it's a good time to do so because I'm gonna I'm gonna keep you guys updated. Okay. And that's it, I think. If you have questions, you can always ask me in the comments or you can leave me a message on my Discord group. The the link in the, is in the description. And if you haven't followed me on Twitter, please consider doing so. And thank you a lot for watching me. If you, and if you like my content, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. So, thanks for watching. Cheers!